What's up guys, Austin Numa here today coming at you with yet another Adobe Premiere CC 2017 tutorial. Today we're going to be covering color grading and basing a color grade off of LUTs. This is a commonly requested tutorial that I get and I wanted to share my process on how I color grade. I do want to mention that every color grade is unique to each filmmaker depending on your story. Color is a different tool that you can use as a filmmaker to tell your story. So keep in mind that this is not a one size fits all but merely how I base my color grades off of LUTs. So before we get started, if you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one, and go ahead and connect with me on Instagram to see some of my work at Austin Makes Films. So I've got my fresh clip ready to go. This is something that I filmed on my Sony A6300 Cine 4 picture profile that was slightly customized. This is my friend Steph who's going to be helping demonstrate this color grade. So I'm going to go ahead and start by going over to Lumetri Color while my clip is selected and I'm going to go under Creative and that's how I'm going to import my LUT. You can also go under Basic Correction and bring in a LUT. You have much more control if you come under Creative and bring in your look. You can adjust the intensity and a few other things. So that's why we're going to be doing it. I'm going to go to Look and I'm going to go to Browse. Now this is going to pull up my Vintage Florida LUT pack. Now I do have a code down in the description below for 20% off of this LUT pack if you also want to try out some of these. So I'm going to go ahead and start with Vintage Florida Sunrise. This is a LUT, part of the LUT pack. So as you can see, it definitely uh, adds a couple changes in here, and we're going to go ahead and color grade based off of this. You can't just slide a LUT on and expect it to be perfect. So the first thing we're going to do is go down here to intensity, and this is where we're going to adjust how much of the LUT we want to come through on the final footage. So I'm going to bring this down to about 85. I feel like is a good look for this. The next thing I want to do is come up here to basic correction and this is where a good bit of your correction is going to take place. So I think the exposure looks good on this one. I'm going to bring my contrast up just slightly. I'm going to bring my highlights down because back here you see just way too much of that bleeding through. I'm going to bring my shadows up just a little bit so we can expose her a little bit more. Not too much with this one, maybe about 11. I'm going to bring my whites down slightly because there's a little bit too much of that in this and then we're going to bring the blacks down just slightly. I can also change my saturation down here. I'm going to bump this up to about 114 because this LUT naturally takes out a little bit of saturation so I'm going to add a little bit of that back in just for this color grade and just to kind of show you variety in this. Uh, then we're going to go down here to curves and I'm going to set a couple points along this line and this is just the general curve and this is a very basic color grade that I'm showing you guys. I'm going to bring this up slightly. Okay, that looks good. Uh, I want to bring the skin tones back a little bit more and since we have some orange colors within this LUT, I'm going to target that area by selecting a couple points in between there and then I'm going to grab a middle point and pump that up just slightly. Not too much though. Right about there. So we bring a little bit of color back that way as well. Then if we wanted to, and I wanted to bring out the red in her lips a little bit more, then maybe what I'd want to do is come here with the eyedropper and then maybe grab that one point. And I'm just going to add a little bit of saturation to that, not too much at all right about there and that kind of pronounces it just a little bit more for me and then I might want to go down to vignette if I want to add a little bit more of a vignette to this I could either add a white vignette or a darker vignette if you are going to add a vignette don't go crazy with it like this it just unless that's the style you're going for to me it's not something that I would do so I'll take it right about there so that's kind of how I base a color grade off of this particular LUT. I'm going to show you another example uh, that I would use within this color pack just so you can kind of see how it varies a little bit. So I've got fresh footage again. Let me go down here to creative and I'm going to pull in another LUT using the look tab. Uh, let's use vintage Florida 16 millimeter. Now this is the actual LUT that I used for the digital dreamer short from which this footage is from. I'm definitely going to turn down the intensity on this one. It's a little too much for me. Maybe about 79 looks good. And then we're going to go to basic correction. I'm definitely going to bring up the exposure slightly, maybe about 0.2. Bring the contrast up slightly. I'm going to bring the highlights up slightly. The shadows, I'm going to bring down. The whites, I'm going to bring a little bit up because I want a little bit more shine in this image. And let's see, bring up the black slightly. And then I'm going to bring the saturation down very slightly, about negative 95. And that looks good so far. I mean, as you can see, that's kind of the difference that we have so far. Then we're going to go down to curves. I'm going to do the same thing we did before. 
Usually with the grade, you could throw on what they call an S curve. In my case, I'm just gonna bring this midtone up just slightly, right about there. And in this case, we do have a little bit too much orange. So we'll do the same thing and target that area and bring it down slightly. Not too much though. We still wanna keep those colors in there. Now we're gonna go down to color wheels. This is something I'm gonna do a little bit different than I did in the previous one. So it throws us these three, shadows, midtones, and highlights. So if I wanted to bring uh, maybe blues and introduce those into the shadows, I might grab the shadows here and just pull this very slightly. As you can see, it comes in really quickly. So I'm gonna bring that in, and that may be a little bit too much. So let's tone that down slightly right about there. Now I'm gonna go back down to vignette and I might add another negative 0.1 on there and that looks good. So that's kind of how I go about basing a color grade off of one of these LUTs in this pack. And once again, if you wanna try out some of these LUTs for yourself, I have them linked in the description below with a 20% off coupon code. So make sure to use that if you wanna test them out. If this video did help you, make sure to leave a like, subscribe to this channel for more filmmaking and editing tutorials just like this one with post notifications on. I've been Austin Newman. You can find my work on Instagram, at Austin Makes Films. And until next time, guys, we'll see you later.